playoff series. I love it. I love seeing the Iceman continue to win. It's why we have the playoff beard going. I know it looks maybe a little scraggly, but it's filling in nice. And if the Icemen keep winning, we're going to keep it around for a while. They beat the Atlanta Gladiators 3-2 last night. A pair of third period goals. It was the first playoff hockey game here in Duval in three years. Wow. Only the fourth home playoff game ever for the Icemen. And let us talk to the PA announcer, the voice of the Icemen. You know him, you love him, the Night Ranger. Joe Mass, of course, the Night Ranger because he is our overnight photographer as well. <laughs> um, so, thusly must ask, did you get any sleep last night, Joe? About four hours. I'm oh, uh, working on about four hours. Good. That's average for us um, night siders, right? Oh, well, morning, folks. Look, Joe, I want to know because I could only imagine the energy inside of that arena last night. Take us there. What was it like? It was it was actually kind of weird, Keitha. Um, first off, my scraggle is also coming in that I will not, not take stick. off now until the end of the playoffs. Uh, but it was it was kind of weird a little bit because I don't think people really knew exactly what to do or what to expect. And even the team is so young that it took a period or two to kind of get everybody going. And then once we took the lead, that final 15 minutes of the game was wide open. I mean, <laughs> tremendous, tremendous hockey. Well, even coach uh, Nick Luco alluded to that, saying even the team themselves uh, kind of came out a little nervous. Atlanta jumps out of that one nothing lead, and then they've got to come back. And, and, and so specifically, let's go to the third period where they get two goals. And uh, I mean, a couple of guys really going off there. Had some great goalkeeping as well from the Icemen. When that, that third goal goes in and they take that 3-2 to two lead, um, did it just pop up? What was it like? Well, both the goals in the third period were scored by Brendan Harris, who we picked up mid-season pretty much. Um, so he's been with us the second half of the year. Um, and, and he's actually one of the smaller players. So he was excited. The team was excited. The crowd got into the game. And then you turn it over to your ECHL goaltender of the year, and that's Francois Broussard, who was tremendous. He made so many big saves down the stretch that preserved this lead. And then you could see the confidence building with the defensemen, with the goaltending, with just making sure that they, they buttoned up all their details for the final stretch of that game. All right, Joe, let's look ahead. What's left for the Iceman? What's next? Well, tonight, game two, right back at it. Um, as, you go, as you know, and as we've told folks all, all along, the first four games are here in Jacksonville. And that's due to a scheduling conflict with the arena up in Atlanta. And so we'll play tonight. Then we play again next Wednesday and Thursday here. Hopefully we don't have to go to Atlanta, but uh, we expect a much bigger crowd tonight. There was about 5,000 last night. Could be, you know, seven, 8,000 tonight. And just the energy that they feed off of these players, um, they can't say it enough, and, and that's what we're excited for. We hope so. Yeah, we want uh, 8,000 plus tonight. You know, the last regular season uh, game at home there, uh, they packed it with more than 8,000. So they can get that energy, and I think Friday night is the perfect night for that. The Night Ranger, Joe Massa, PA announcer. You'll hear his voice when you go and see the Icemen uh, tonight. Appreciate your time, sir. Get a little nap <laughs> while you can. Let's check in now with meteorologist Lauren Routen-Kranz.